do Bostonians feel about the Kavanaugh confirmation process being extended? Well, many people are telling us that lawmakers took the right steps today. WBZ's Katie Brace picks up that part of the story, and she's live in Cambridge. Katie? Well, Lisa, for those we spoke with, an investigation is not about party lines. You're telling me that my assault doesn't matter, that what happened to me doesn't matter, and that you're going to let people who do these things into power? Two sexual assault survivors confronted Arizona Senator Jeff Flake in the elevator. Following his announcement, he would vote in Judge Brett Kavanaugh's favor. When the senators reconvened, he said this. I will only be comfortable moving on the floor until the FBI has done more investigation than they have already. As people headed out of Boston for the weekend, many welcomed the news of an investigation. And this is a really important issue to be taking a stand on. Hillary Sieber and her fellow Harvard students. Business School students stood outside class Thursday supporting Christine Blasey Ford. If this means that it's going to be investigated and that we're going to unpack what happened and take our time with that, I think that's crucial. For many, an investigation is not about politics, but I common sense. I, I definitely think there should be an investigation. There was one with Clarence Thomas, so that was the precedent. Look, if you want to get to the bottom of it, let's just have an open investigation, get to the facts, and then we can either clear him or see him for what he really is. WBZ political analyst John Keller says a CBS poll shows the majority of Americans want an investigation for that reason. The resistance of both the Republicans and the nominee to having a further investigation quite obviously struck enough people as odd and off-putting, including Senator Flake, that all of a sudden there's some backpedaling going on. Again, the FBI only has a week to complete their investigation. Reporting live along the Charles, Katie Brace, WBZ News.